Let me show you that how do you design your first form and explain you the various controls that are available for the form. To do that, let's go to the Visual Basic window by pressing Alt F11. So once you are here, it's just a temporary seat that I have created so that I could show you the features. Also, I'm, I'll put this properties window a little above so that you know these comes a little bigger. So what you do first, you insert user form. So form has come here. I think I have to click on here like this. Now see several things, you know. See this form, you know, as soon as you create, it comes with a, there are two things. There is name and there is a caption. Name is something that, you know, it's intrinsically how will you refer a program. So you can say it, you know, my for, for example. And caption is something that people will see. For example, you can say caption that this is my first for. So what you need to understand, this is something that user will see and you will use my form to access data of this particular form. Now it comes with several features and you have seen some example of some of the uh, controls in the previous uh, presentation. So one of them is level. Level is something which you write so that people can relate to. So once you have level like this, what you can go, here you go and in the level, you know, in the caption, you can say, this is a level, you know, and look at what will happen. Now it is showing something like this. You can change its font and size. For example, if you feel it's not so visible, there are two ways of changing. One is that, you know, like you go to alphabetical or categorical. Categorical is that when you are not very sure, categorically useful because it tells you, you know, in a different category like appearance, behavior, font. So you go to the font, it is Tahoma, you select it and you call it, let's say, make it 14 size. So now it is bigger and you can change the color also. The color is actually comes in a appearance and you look at four color. So you come here. There are two ways. One is like system, another is palette. Palette way you go, whichever color you like, you select it. Now this has taken that color. The same is applicable in many places like, you know, net, this, this is called text, bo text box where you can enter it's a free entry. And here again, you can set the features. Now let me show you something which is little, uh, you know, that how will you change the background of this. So suppose, you know, you want to change the color of this to something like, you know, probably let's say yellowish. Okay. So now the color has changed. Let's say you want them to become of the equal size. Let me so put one more and then I'll show you that, you know, how you can make it equal size. So let's say, you know, you copy this label and you paste it. So this is another label that has come. this is a combo box and let me now make a combo box for you so i come here this is a combo box you come here put a combo box okay but after combo box how do you pass the data to this so let me show it to you how do you pass the data one of the best way of passing the data is that you know let me just show you that let's say i call it gopal lx Mark, Steve, John. Let's say I have defined these five values and I want in the combo box to reflect these five values. One of the best way is to select this and to look at, you know, what I had done in my Excel and that's why it is not visible here. I had come to view and remove the formula bar and that's why it is not appearing. In fact, you can so remove headings, you know, it will look like as if like, you know, it's just the, there is no heading. It will give you a different feel. The very much way that I have done in the other Excel. I'll keep open it and show it to you. But right now, let me just get back to the original stuff. So here it is. I can select this whole stuff and I can say drop values. Okay. 
the moment I enter, you know, this range is called drop values. Now I can go to this VBA form, you know, I can go to the, this, I can select this VBA form, I can go to the data, and in the raw source, I can say, I mean, let me just check what name I had given, drop values. Let me just copy this so that, you know, there is no mistake there. So I can come to this control and I can say in the row source drop values. Let me just see that if it takes. Okay. So now it has, I have done that drop values. Let me just check that, you know, it is working or not. So what is the way out to check it? What you can do first you compile. And then this is how you run it. So this is how it has come. You look at what it is giving. It is not actually it's giving drop value. So there is a mistake. I'll correct it. So but this is a level. This is a combo and combo box is not working. I'll just correct it because it looks like probably I should have put somewhere else. So give me a minute. So the mistake with the combo box was that, you know, I was supposed to put it in the row source but I had actually by mistake put it here in the text and that's why it was not working. I pasted it here in drop value. Now let's see how it is working. So you go to you know run just say sub form. Now you can see it is coming. So you can make some entry. You can make some selection once you come it is letting you do. However let's see that you know can I type something else for example can I set you know and it has taken. That's what we do not want. We want it to only take the value which is in drop down. So how do you do that? To do that, you select this and you go to the style, you know, in the style, go to alphabetical because we are not able to find where it is. Go to style and in lieu of zero, you know, you select two, two forces that, you know, it will only take entry from this seat. So now if you go here, and you know you try to type anything for example you try to type anything it won't take it will force you to make selection from this only now one more thing if you look at these are not in the proper size what do we do that so we can do it this way you can go select all of them go to format make same size height look at now it has come you can again say a line. Let's say make same size I have said. And let's say both. Now it is height and width by both. However, if you look at this is actually little up and that's little odd. So what you can do now, if you look at you want to bring it here. So what you can do here, you can select this together. Again, go to the format. And you can say arrange it's it's not coming right now i mean what i can do otherwise i can just select this come see both were selected so i can bring it one step now if you look at this grid line tells you that it's coming in the same place or not so by looking at dot you know it has come now there are certain more things that you know probably you'll be looking you'll be requiring for example you might require a button the button does something for example this is a button and you can change the name of the button. You can change the caption that, you know, let's say check it. I can change the format. I'm not doing it right now, but the moment you click it, it tells you that, okay, how will you change it? How, what it is supposed to do? Let me just put it there, you know, message box. It worked. So this will define some action. And the moment I click on, you know, this form, it will say it worked. Let me just show it to you. So I go here, I run the form and I click on, it said it worked. Okay. So this is how you design. Now let me show you two, three more stuff. For example, if you want to display something, what you can do, these are the images, right? And you can put some images. This will look like image one, image two, and you can change the property on the runtime. Now, usually, you know what you can do.
what you can do that you know you can write back from Excel to this form and you can change the control of this image one property and that's how I had changed it there I'll show you how I have done it exactly in that particular uh, in particular Excel but right now I just wanted to show you that what are the different commands that are available similarly if you look at I had put a label which was cha I was changing through program and the label you know the property I had said invisible in the beginning and that's why this whole area was not visible in that particular Excel so if you look at label text box control box you have check box which you'll require you have even list box where you can make more than one selection and then you know you can frame where you can compel someone to select only one of them for example let's say you want are you satisfied and then answer should be one of them that very satisfied somewhat satisfied like that then you actually create these options and put these in the frame that forces it that only one of them will get selected you have other things like command button and tab strip where you know these things will become different different tabs and you can go so one form will act like multiple form all those things you have a spinning button so that people can change the value by spinning button an image you have seen it and similarly you have ref edit also by which people can select the range so you click on and then you can select some range very much the way you do in data analysis tool pack when you click on regression you select range so that was the brief introduction of the tools that are available and how do you write the command let me also show you that how do you open the moment excel opens how do you open this excel that is also pretty easy what you go here you know go to this workbook and you double click here then you select workbook open and there you can say that my for dot show what will happen in that case as soon as you open the excel it will open the form let me show it to you so now if i open this you know as soon as i open it you enable the content you know it has just opened the form next time when I open it and you know if at all Excel has remembered my choice it will directly open the form also what is tricky that you know if you look at in my case I had actually so it has opened the form I you know directly you can't load a chart on the Excel and the form so what I had done in my this particular Excel that you know I was making two chart I was changing the charts into these two images and then I was loading it so I had introduced right now I introduce you to different uh, features of uh, you know this uh, form that what are the different tools different controls available in the form now I will explain you that how I have created this particular chart this particular form and how I have been using it